Hello patrons of the Oryxburg Library. Today we're going to be reading a book for summer reading week three and it is called Attack of the Underwear Dragon by Scott Rothman illustrated by Pete Oswald. I can't wait. Cole had always wished he could be an assistant knight to Sir Percival, his favorite knight of King Arthur's round table. So Cole wrote him a letter. Dear Sir Percival, I would make a great assistant knight because I am smart, I work hard, and whenever I don't, whatever I don't know, I promise to learn. Please give me a shot. Love, Cole. Sir Percival read Cole's letter and cried. That's right. Knights cry. Knights cry at sad plays, bad plays, when they step on something sharp, when they run into a harp, when they cut onions, when they get bunions, when they get stuck on castle ceilings, or when a wizard hurts their feelings. But Sir Percival cried because he had once written a letter to his favorite knight, Sir Lancelot, who had given him a shot. So Sir Percival made Cole his assistant knight. Cole had a lot to learn. He learned how to sharpen Sir Percival's swords, spears, battle axes, and knight pencils. He learned how to ride a horse and swing a sword, how to paint Sir Percival doing awesome knight poses, and calm Sir Percival when he awoke from nightmares about a big scary underwear dragon. Cole learned how to get knocked off a horse, knocked down by a knight, knocked over by a princess, and knocked out by a catapult. At battle time, Cole learned how to pack Sir Percival's stuff lug it into battle and cheer for Sir Percival when the battle began and bandage his boo-boos when it was all over. Cole loved learning what made Sir Percival a great knight, even if Sir Percival was terrified of an underwear dragon that would come and destroy his kingdom. Unfortunately, an underwear dragon came and destroyed the kingdom. He's got a big pair of underwear on. All the knights fought the underwear dragon, and all the knights lost. Pretty soon, there was only one knight left. Pretty soon, there were no knights left. So Cole wrote another letter. Dear underwear dragon, I am only an assistant knight of the round table, but I think you should clean up the mess you made because it's not nice to mess up a kingdom that does not belong to you. If you want, I can help. Love, Cole. The underwear dragon got Cole's letter and ate it. That's right, underwear dragons can't read. Underwear dragons can't read letters, gestures, sweaters, billboards, signs for girls' swords, party invitations, poems about crustaceans, royal decrees, bath oil recipes, moat signs, goat kinds, menus, words with 10 U's, or even maps that medieval hens use. The underwear dragon went to eat Cole next. When Cole saw the underwear dragon, he was scared. And when the underwear dragon attacked, Cole didn't think he'd be able to do anything. But then Cole remembered everything he learned from being an assistant knight. And he fought and he jousted and he wrestled and catapulted the underwear dragon until its underwear flew off. And so did the dragon. He was very embarrassed to have lost his underwear. The whole kingdom cheered and helped Cole clean up the mess the underwear dragon made. They made him a big sign out of the underwear. Thank you, Cole. Back at his castle, King Arthur made Cole a knight and gave him a place at the round table. But Sir Cole just wanted to get some rest because tomorrow he needed to find his own assistant knight of the round table. The end. If you liked this book, we have so many fun, cool stories here at the Oryxburg Library. So stop in with your favorite grown-up and a library card and we can help you find the right book. If you're playing along with summer reading, 
come in and get your bags that accompany this. We're doing some really cool crafts this week. Have a great day.